write down solve the equation five to the power half plus five to the power half plus log base five sin x equals to 15 to the power half plus log cos x base 15 is it clear okay now one thing let me tell you before starting this kind of sum first of all you have to see where the function is defined you see sin x is inside log log sin x is there right now to define the function first of all before starting the sum you must write that your sin x has to be greater than zero as well as your cos x has to be greater than zero is it okay otherwise the function will not be defined this equation will not be valid okay now sin x is greater than zero as i told you from the trigonometric inequation that sin x is greater than zero nearby the origin you can write that your x is greater than zero and less than pi yes or no so it is less than pi so i have to add the period of sin x which is nothing but 2 pi so adding with n we are getting 2n pi less than x less than 2n pi plus pi okay otherwise you can write after little simplification is it clear this is for your sin x is greater than 0 now for cos x is greater than 0 nearby the origin it is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so what you will write x is greater than 2n pi minus pi by 2 2n pi plus pi by 2 is it clear now to define this equation this equation to be valid your sin x has to be greater than 0 as well as cos x has to be greater than 0 therefore your x has to belong between I'm writing it here your x has to belong between x belongs to you see you have to find out the common region between this two is it clear so what you will write you will write your x is greater than your x is greater than 2n pi and it will be less than pi plus pi by 2 is it clear combining this two in equation we are getting that x has to lie between 2n pi and 2n pi plus pi by 2 to define this equation okay now let us come forward so any x between this region we will accept and it is whichever is not in between this range we will reject that okay now let us just try to solve this equals to 15 to the power half into 15 to the power log cos x base 15 have you understood this because this can be written as 5 to the power half into 5 to the power log sin x base 5 so and then after that i have taken 5 to the power half common that is root 5 i have taken common so we are left with this so what is uh after simplification so it will be 1 plus sin x which will be equals to root 3 into cos x is it clear so what we are getting root 3 cos x minus sin x is equals to 1 again we are getting that form 
a cos x plus b sin x so we are dividing both sides by 3 plus 1 that is 2 so what we are getting root 3 by 2 cos x minus half sin x is equals to half so we are getting what cos x plus pi by 6 equals to half which is nothing but your cos pi by 3 therefore x plus pi by 6 will be equals to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3 so x will be nothing but 2n pi plus minus pi by 3 minus pi by 6 so if we take separately what we are going to get can I wipe this one this part can I wipe it off okay so what we are getting x equals to 2n pi plus pi by 3 minus pi by 6 which gives you 2n pi plus pi by 6 or the other one we are getting it as 2n pi minus pi by 3 minus pi by 6 which gives you 2n pi minus pi by 2 is it clear now you observe within this range we have to accept the value within this range only this part is coming not this part is it clear therefore our final answer will be 2n pi plus pi by 6 where n belongs to any integer now one thing you must remember have you understood this problem clearly first of all tell me okay now so what we have learned from this problem that whenever this kind of problems are given to us first of all we will find out what are the values of x such that that equation will be defined you know if the equation is not defined you cannot do the sum so first of all you find out that and then you solve it normally and then you find out the values of x which fall in the region which we got from the first part okay then you choose those values of x and reject the other values you get the final answer is it clear to all of you